Greetings, YouTube. I'm gonna let you in a little secret. You see, I went out of town tonight, three hours round trip, hang out with some friends, go on a date, eat some good food, pretend like I did not have a life outside of this game. But just as you might run into your teacher at the grocery store or Walmart and be shocked to think that they don't live at school, I had people messaging me angry, like legitimately upset that I had not done a video on the Summoner Appreciation Calendar. Now, the irony of this is that I knew after last year that we could expect this again. And I was going to make a speculation video, but I really don't like to speculate because I'm usually wrong and I usually look like an idiot. And so I'm trying to not do that as much, but you know, it happens. I guess I would have been right at this point. We'll never know because the video wasn't made. But in the meantime, <laughs> I got back to Oklahoma at about 2 a.m. And I immediately jumped on my computer to record a video, even though I'm half asleep, because that is how addicted I am to making videos for the community. By the way, if you're thinking, Prof, you were out of town, but I saw you post videos. Here's a little secret as well. Secret number two. I record videos ahead of time and I set them on a timer to post so that hopefully I give my subscribers something to look forward to watching even if it's a crystal opening that lasts two minutes. I like to do that because I'd like to think that there's somebody out there that might need a pick me up, that might need to watch a video, laugh at a good, bad or terrible pun and hopefully just feel some honest emotion from a video of mine. Doesn't have to be long, just hopefully has to be authentic. So it is with that, very long intro that I can now say that we can compare the 2019 and 2020 Summoner Appreciation multi-month calendar. And what you're looking at right now is the 2019 version. You can see at the top that the major highlights were a three-star crystal, an ultimate crystal, a four-star crystal, three tier one alphas, a tier four class catalyst, a tier two alpha back before they had the uh, progression-based Log in monthly calendars because now, of course, if you're Cavalier, you get a tier two alpha every month. So that may not feel like as big of a deal, but back then it was a huge deal. And then, of course, the biggest deal of all, the free five-star class-based Awakening Gym Crystal. Now, the first few days of this are pretty standard. You got three-star shards, 500 five-star shards, which is nice, a few units, a few boosts. And then you go to the next couple weeks and you start to see some exciting stuff, like a generic, I think it was a three-star Awakening Gym on day 19, 500 more five-star shards on day 23, some more units, I think that was maybe five four-star six stones on day 26, 20% 20 boost, all those things are real nice. And then you go to the next uh, couple of weeks, and you'll see that the 500 five-star shards were upgraded to 1,000 five-star shards, and that you've got another plus five six stones. At this point, I think it might have been five-star six stones. And then a four-star crystal on day 42, more boost, which is always awesome. And then day 47 is kind of where the controversy is for 2020, because even though we're about to discuss why in so many ways this login calendar, once you reach the end of it, is a straight but banger day 47, I do believe, was a four-star generic awakening gem, and that has not been repeated. It is replaced by a crystal version in the 2020 edition, which if you're like me and you don't need four-star awakening gems, it's probably not a big deal at all. But if you're somebody who really, really needs them, you're going to be bummed it's not a generic, and I get why you're bummed. A thousand more five-star shards, four-star shards at this point. There's the three tier one alphas we talked about, and then it starts to get real exciting weeks nine and ten and above. Tier four class catalyst, we always know we need those. Uh, a bigger chunk of units. I think there's five five-star six stones from this. A uh, Alliance Team Revive, a Tier 4 Basic Catalyst, and then here we go. Last couple of cycles, last four weeks. You got 1,000 five-star shards twice. You got 30 units. You've got Sig Stones that continue to rain down in the five-star variety. You got the Tier 2 Alpha, and then last, but certainly not least, you have a bunch of six-star shards, 100 per day. So that gives you one, two, three, four, five, six, seven hundred six-star shards by the end of that week, that last week. The five-star class-based awakening gym on day 91. 
a day 90 tier 2 alpha. So remember, you've got a tier 2 alpha on day 84 and a tier 2 alpha on day 90. And then 5,000 or half of a 5-star crystal on day 89. Day 88, you got 35 units. You get another tier 4 class catalyst crystal on day 87. Two tier 4 basic uh, on day 86. So that is exciting. That was last year. We had not seen this before. Now let's jump into this year where you can see that we've got everything from the Summoner Appreciation Day to Canada Day, which is, makes you know that it's 2020, not 2019, because we didn't have Canada Day last year. We just had Corral. Um, okay, so you start out pretty similar. you got energy refill in here. got some units, three-star shards, a boost, a three-star crystal. Nothing really that exciting about weeks one and two. But then weeks three and four, you get, I think it's a three-star generic Awakening Gym again. You get another energy refill. 20 units on day 24 is pretty nice. 20% champion boost. Uh, and there's the ultimate crystal on day 28. And then weeks five and six. Now we're ratcheting up the excitement. Another energy refill. More six stones on day 40. I can't remember if those are four or five stars. Uh, the four-star crystal on day 42, which is pretty fast, all things considered, for those who really could use a four-star champion. More units. Uh, pretty cool that you get... 40 units automatically on day 35 and 38. That's pretty close to one another. But what we're going to spend the majority of time on is the future weeks from here and above. Now, as discussed, on day 47 of last year, you had the four-star generic awakening gym. Day 49, it appears that is now a four-star class-based crystal. So that is a downgrade. They did give us five tier one alphas instead of three, which was what they gave us in 2019. That's awesome because, of course, you need five tier one alphas to take a five-star up a rank on average. And then 60 units between day 46 and day 52. That's awesome. Half a four-star crystal, whatevs, on day 47 and day 53. Some things like tier three basic catalysts, uh, a greater ascendant crystal, or maybe with that, it's just the regular ascendant crystal. We've got the greater ascendant crystal coming. Uh, day tw uh, 61, we've now got, uh, I think it's incursion revive as a team. Always take that. 50 units on day 66, two energy refills day 58, 25 uh, sig stones on day 64, uh, day 68, now we're starting to get for the first time, I think it was this one, the six star six stones, which is really exciting. Half of a uh, tier four basic on day 59, and then another uh, 1500 four star shards. Now, let's get real excited because day 82, I think, is 25 five star shards, or five star <laughs> shards. I am so dang tired, YouTube. 80, 82, the, the 82nd day of this calendar, 25 five-star, six stones, five, six-star, I think it's day 83. We get the tier two alpha like 2019 on day 84, 1,000 five-star shards on day 77, 200 units on day 76. That's incredible. And then if you thought that was incredible, why not double that? 400 total between day 80 and day 76. That is unlike anything we saw last year. And then the Greater Ascendant Crystal, that's what I think is Day 79. And then a couple of Tier 4 Basic just for fun, Day 75, Day 78. This is There's never been a better time to start an account than the next few months. And that's really the takeaway from this video as well. And, um, and then uh, I do want to point out, I, I went to put the screenshot in. And then for whatever reason, it did not get in. So um, I can say off memory... We get the second tier two alpha again. We get the five star class based awakening gem. But look at day 91, right? They did two things. They gave us, well, I guess technically three things a five star crystal, all 10,000 five star shards in the last two weeks, half of a six star crystal, 5,000 six star shards. And then they doubled. Remember in 2019. They, they gave us 100 six-star shards per day in the last week. Well, they doubled that to 200 or 1,400 additional. So between the 1,400 and the 5,000 on day 91, you're looking at 6,400 six-star shards. And I know some of you have told me you've been playing the game for like years and years and years and still barely have half of a six-star form. So you'll have your first six-star crystal guarantee if you just log in every day for the next several months. So that is a lot to digest especially at such a late hour but that is why my channel is here we got six star shards we got the five star uh 
Crystal, we got the five star class based awakening gym. I also want to mention the 11,250, I believe it is, tier five basic catalyst fragments, which is always appreciated. So many units. I mean, look at this. Remember, we got the 50 and the 50, got 100 units these two weeks, and then 400 units. So that's 400 plus 100. That's 500 units in the last four weeks in preparation for the final weeks 13 and 14. And again, I apologize for the screenshot not making it in, but it's not worth re-recording this entire video to sum up what I can do by memory, which is, again, mostly the excitement of a crazy amount of six-star shards, five-star shards, the five-star class-based Awakening Gym is returned. Yes, some people I'm sure would like to see a generic, which is what Kabam Santa gave all Cavalier players on Christmas Day of 2019. But hey, free is free. Uh, I have heard from some of you who celebrate religious holidays and don't play the game on certain days. Kabam has been really understanding if you file a help ticket and let them know that you missed a day because of religious circumstances. So I implore you to do that. But this video is already going on 11 minutes, so let's end it here. Good morning, those of you across the pond, or if you're in the United States or some time zone with similar country, I say hopefully good night because the insomnia, as always, is back.